Hey, Terry here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. So this is kind of the big news because the Oculus Quest 2 just got jailbroken. What does it mean? What is the jailbreak? And what should we expect from the future? Well, let's discover it in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so let's get to the announcement right away because Robert Long, a senior engineer from Mozilla working on WebXR, made this announcement. A researcher from the XR community has gained root access to the Oculus Quest 2 and is able to bypass the Facebook login. XRSI's own researchers have validated this jailbreak and are currently working to gather assurances to protect the individuals who discover these methods of jailbreak. We also learned that there are other researchers out there who gain similar access and are unsure how to proceed without clear policies around the right to repair. If you are one of these researchers, we urge you to contact us and share the details in a certain matter, blah, 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 phone number. All right, so this person, Mr. Long, actually put $5,000 bounty on this jailbreak. But let's get back a second and let's understand what is actually the jailbreak and why it's so important and exciting at the same time for the Oculus Quest 2. Because, of course, with the Oculus Quest, we are in a closed platform. That means that everything is controlled by Facebook directly and they decide what kind of software is going to arrive directly on the platform. Now, the jailbreak, the same thing that we saw in the past with the first iPhone, for example, that had very, very few functionalities. I was actually one of the first people to have the uh, first iPhone. It was crazy expensive, stupid expensive, and had no functionalities at all. You may remember that we didn't even have MMS. The only way to send a picture was like uh, through an email back then. So jailbreaking the device, we were able to actually add functionalities. And that's the same thing we're actually trying to do with the Oculus Quest because the platform, the hardware is great, but we are very limited by Facebook and their choices. And at the same time, we have the big elephant in the room, the fact that Facebook required a Facebook account to pretty much play anything, do anything with that. There's a data datering and something like it. So, uh, well, for many people, it's kind of an uncomfortable situation. They just want to use their device. So yeah, jailbreaking this headset, we were able to install and uninstall apps that will not be able to install and uninstall and create a platform that is kind of a parallel to the platform that we have with Facebook on the same device. Parallel, not parallel at all. And also, by the way, adding functionalities to this asset that are kind of missing right now uh, from Facebook. And also, if you don't know it yet, the Oculus Quest 2 runs on a software that is based on Android. So it's very similar to the same thing that we are doing, uh, gaining the root access in uh, our Android devices. So yeah, it was possible and yet that happened finally. But now why we're not able to install it right away? Why we're not able to actually do whatever we want with the Oculus Quest 2? Because of course they're trying to understand how they can put it out in the right way without getting like chased by Facebook in some legal wars or something like it. So they're trying to appeal to the right of repair, a law that is there to be able to be able to actually repair your own devices by yourself, change pieces and stuff like it uh, without having the restrictions directly from the company. That's why it's called jail because you actually have to get out of the jail created by the company who creates this product. Because yes, you buy the product, you use this product, but you don't really own it. Because in the moment that breaks, well, you can't do anything anymore with it. You just have to send it back to them and they have the total control of it. So appealing to this right or repair, you're able to actually modify your Oculus Quest in an illegal way without uh, getting banned with your account, for example, in a case uh, as consumer or in the case of them that they actually rooted the device uh, not being in very bad situation legally with Facebook. But anyway guys that was all I think this is really refreshing to see things moving in this direction because at the end of the day of course we have this situation where Facebook is very very powerful and seeing a possibility where we can actually use this great access even without a Facebook account well uh, it's kind of enticing for sure. Now of course bear in mind that in the case we're going to be able to do the jailbreak uh, maybe you're going to also lose uh, the access to the store and stuff like that so uh, maybe some people are going to really benefit because they're going to be able to install different software on there there's not 
not coming directly from Facebook. But anyway, for the regular consumer, it's gonna be better to just stay on the regular quest, get the games and stuff like that. But again, it's great that we're seeing stuff moving over there. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment below. What kind of functionalities would you like to see arriving on the Oculus Quest 2? For me, top of the line uh, will be uh, the ability to use a tether connection with it. So uh, put just a little dongle and have a, a LAN connection to have a, like a, even a better link probably using virtual desktop. That would be super interesting. But let me know what you think about it in the comment below and what you'd like to see over there. But anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you did like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. And a little down further is also the Patreon with prior access to videos like this one. And at the same time, we have uh, down there the T-shirt sticker mask 2020 item number one. But again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.